Guys, welcome back to week four of our behind the scenes sneak peek at season two of Home Diagnosis. We really want you to be a part of this conversation and be part of the production team. So you can do that at patreon.com slash home diagnosis TV. And this episode, the title of it is The Truth. We're going to be talking a lot about the home building industry and the life of building professionals. This is not really something that you can understand unless you really delve into it from the side of the building professionals because there are things like weather, Ugh. like uh, the amount of new technology that's coming out every day, right. um, new materials. Subcontractor trained habits. Oh, we've got some interesting things going on with labor shortages. Yeah. We don't have young people going into the trades anymore. So this kind of, these struggles are real. And a big part of what we need to deal with is that part of the reason we're here and we have a television show like this that is addressing these very critical issues that we are about to start having in droves is because we all have been asking for cheap, fast homes so, for decades. So the question here is, what is home building really like? And to find that answer, and hear more about what's happening, go over to patreon.com slash home diagnosis TV to see more. And if you're new to our show, enjoy this next little bit from season one. The Wyckoff House, the oldest house in New York City, yeah. the most multi-layered onion in the entire country. Literally every single room has a different history to it. Trying to do 21st century things with an older model home, it's gonna be dangerous. The water heater has busted. Bedrooms are now office spaces. The energy code of the future is gonna be three air changes per hour, but we don't actually care about that here. What the number would be for this house if it was built uh, this year in New York would be 800 CFM. Seeing these spaces that were kind of forgotten in one of the oldest houses that exists, very exciting. They're still making these houses in the old fashioned method. Uh, they knew how it was going to react to moisture and to heat and to cold. So they continued to make these farmhouses with that kind of construction. I'm really excited to see how they used home performance back in 1652. Everybody loves before and after and Parking the tiny lab next to the Wyckoff house is the best before and after there is. 